Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. How you doing? I hope you're well. Hope you had a good week. Um, I'm okay. I've just come back from work and I'm going to put this video up. I'm going to edit it and then I'm going to sleep. <laughs> so you will be seeing this video whilst I'm already at work, if that makes sense. So today we're going to go through some cash stuffing. I've got some cash and this is the rest of the money that I said I wouldn't, I wasn't able to draw up, but there's a story behind it, which I will tell you. And then we're going to go through, empty up my purse for the end of the week. And we can see if we have anything to roll over. Bear with me. Okay, so we won't be emptying, we'll just be emptying out our wallets, but we won't be filling them up until Monday. So in groceries, we have got 15 pounds left. Um, giving is empty, miscellaneous is empty, eating out we've got five pounds left and spending we have got five pounds left. Okay and those are our envelopes empty for the week and we've got some coins which are emptied out and I will deal with those as the video goes on. Right so let's do this, let's see if I can make some change, we've got um, 20 I will probably need change for later. So the roll over, we have got 25 pounds. Sorry, bear with me. I could not find this folder. It's like, oh my days, where are you gone? Okay, so roll over goes into roll and save. And the plan is to hopefully get 165. I don't know how much we have left. So if we add five pounds and then we just count it. And then I just knock off 25 pounds worth in there. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 91, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60. Oh my days. 65, one, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. All right, so I'll put these coins here. And now this challenge and knock it off and it goes into my personal binder so let's just knock off 25 pounds worth right so I will clean this off and we'll do it again and then once we get 165 it goes into I'll do that now actually I'm quite happy just to do this all oh, my days I'm so happy so we've got 20 40 60 70 80 91 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and I've taken the coins, so 65. So what I am gonna do is just change it. All right, so that should still give us 165. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 65. And this goes into my personal binder, which goes into this challenge, which we have 100 pounds in the bank and we knock off 165 off this abundant tracker and I will do that off camera and I will show you that the next time I see you. Okay, so that's our rollover done. Got some happy mail to show you. Dingley Designs was giving away this advent tracker for free on her, I think it was, I don't know whether you can find it on Instagram or her website, but anyway, somewhere there. Um, it's a Instead of saving, you know, you could save gradually for the advent calendar. Make each icon however much you want it to be, depending on which advent calendar you want, the 12 door or the 25 door. So I thought that was a good idea, so I will incorporate that from next month. This is my challenge for the month for my sus subscription from Grounded Budgets. It's got the little kicks. I don't know if you can see that properly. I thought this was so cute. It does not come laminated. I la I did laminate it, however. And yeah, I'm going to start this hopefully in May. This is the mystery subscription from My Money Matters. And this month, oh my days. This will remind, this reminds me so much of, um, oh my days. I'll put her channel, I'll put it across the screen because I've just gone blank. Right, so this is obviously the monthly subscription. It comes a little card. And 
ever got this. Quack, are you waiting for? Oh my days, it saves a hundred pounds. Oh my days, this is gonna be an interesting one for the month of May for me because I normally try and make them small. But you know what? If I could get through the one that was February of counting my challenges and everything else, I can definitely get through this one. So I do like it. It's fives and tens and it saves a hundred pounds. So I will be adding this to my May binder. And then also Lisa from As My Budgets, she she asked me, she goes, Julian, do you have the Rainbow Riches? I've never seen you play it on your channel. And I was like, no, I don't actually, because she had a spare one and she sent this to me. So I have now got Rainbow Riches, which I will be incorporating. But you know what? I'm not in a rush to complete this. So I will probably do this and it'll take until the end of the year to do it. It saves 750 once it's complete. And I'm sure a lot of you know this because it's very common and very popular across the channels. These are actually challenges that she makes herself. Um, autumn, summer, spring and winter. I will add this to my annual, my seasonal binder once. So I'm currently doing summer. Once these small ones are done, like this one, because it saves 30 pounds, instead of redoing it again because usually I do a challenge twice once it's complete I will just add these ones in so and then she also sent me which is a cup an envelope is this an envelope yes it is that's cute a placeholder and then we got a Christmas envelope and she sent me the scratcher from Budget with Ira and I absolutely love that so thank you so much Lisa I really really appreciate that yeah, so what happened is this money is an accumulation of money that, that obviously my friend that owes me money pay me this money. But also £150 from this money is from my bank. It's a refund. So what happened is my bank decided to close down. I don't know if you've heard of them, Citibank. We've been with them for over 20 years, but they're no longer going to be banking in the UK. So we closed our bank account and we transferred all our bank account details because my husband and I have a joint bank account into a bank we're currently banking with at the moment and lo and behold out of the blue they sent me a check uh, once everything was closed but I don't understand why because obviously the money was already transferred over and everything went through quickly I mean and smoothly through the switch system but this was money that was owed to me because it was an ongoing case that my bank had. Um, I had disputed against my bank at the time, but I closed the case because I thought, well, now they're closing. There's no point. I'm going to lose the case because it's it's something that they didn't honor. It was just a faster payment. Normally it takes two hours to hit another bank account. It took them one week for them to hit the other bank account. And that was their compensation. So £150 was compensation for my bank. And obviously the rest of the money is... I think it's 200 pounds that's money from my friend that owes me so we're just going to count how much money we have 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 20 30 oh, 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 93 10 20 30 40 so 45 50 55 so 155 okay i mean 355 okay so i have got a cheat sheet and I kind of have an idea where this money is going to go. So the first place it's going to go is I'm going to put some money into Save 2024. And I'm hoping to finish this challenge by this month. So if I put £40 into this challenge, which now leaves us with £40 left to complete this. So we should now have 440. Just count that quickly. 2040, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80, 4, 20, 30, 40, which is correct. 440. And then I want to put... 26 pounds into this challenge. I'm also hoping to complete this challenge by end of this month, if I can help it. It saves 494 pounds. 
and how much do we have so far? 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 80, 93, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 56. Oh gosh, there's more, 56, oh my days. 76. 77, okay. Right. I'm hoping it's correct. Once it's complete, I will just... It should add up to 494 once I'm done. All right, so this is it for this binder. Right, so as you know, my aim is to finish this tin by end of this month. I'm not 100% sure how much we have left, but I'm just going to put 45 pounds into this tin. So that's 45. So if I put, I need some tens. One, two. All right, so we left with 20, 30, 40. 55 pounds left to complete this challenge. So the plan is to finish this by end of April. It's taken me almost three months to complete that challenge. <laughs> but I've taken my I'm taking my time. So a lot of my challenges I want to finish end of April and then start fresh ones in May and then hopefully finish those, some of them end of May, which I'm carrying over. Right, so the next thing I want to do. Right, I want to put a hundred pounds into this cat binder because I'm also planning on finish this binder in April. So we got 20, 40, 100. I don't even know if I've done this correctly. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65 goes into my mini binder. And 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80 goes into my monthly. And then we should have 100 pounds here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, that's fine. Right, so we're going to see what we can do in terms of change. I don't know how we're going to do this, so we're going to just change that. 10, 20, 30, 40. All right, so we got 100 pounds, we can use this one, and this goes into this binder. So we have a, we use a 12-sided dice, and right, quite a few of them on one scratcher, so what we do is we roll the dice, ignore number 11 and 12, and then we will scratch and see what we can save. I have got coins that I've not allocated, so if I need them, I will use them. And this is number nine. And we've got eight pounds left to add into this one. So right, so I don't have change. So I'm just gonna have to just see what I can do. So this one is now complete. So if we ring if we do a number nine, we have to use one of the cat challenges. Okay. Number ten. Right, so we got 10 pounds. Okay. Number two. And we got 14 pounds to put in here. If we have a pound, yes we do. If we have a pound, I can put in 15 pounds. Oh, actually, we got 15 pounds in here. So what I will do is I'll just put 30 pounds. So we should have 31. Yep, so this is now complete. Number two, so because number two is complete, we go to the cat challenge and we will shuffle these cards and pull out a card to save. And so we have to save four pounds. Number 12, we ignore. 
number two. Okay, number two is complete. So we do the same thing again. And we gotta save two pounds. <laughs> so that will be six pounds in total. Number nine, am I right? Yeah, number nine. So number nine is complete. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing with this one and we save eight pounds. I'm just putting the completed challenges to the one side so that I do not mix them up. Number three, and that is nine pounds. So if we got a pound, do we have a pound? No, we don't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put 10 pounds in here because I don't have a pound. That'll probably be a pound over, but once I count it, I'll make sure that there's at 300 pounds in this binder, if that makes sense. Number 12, we ignore. Number 11, we ignore. And number nine, I think that's the one that is complete. Am I correct? Yep. So we go back to this challenge and we save six pounds. So we have now got two, three, four, five, and we put 10 pounds in. All right, so we take this 10 out and then put 20 pounds. My goodness, we already saved 20 pounds in there. <sighs> Number six. That's eight pounds. I'll take out two pounds if I've got it. Yes, I do. And then put 10 pounds in. Number five. Nice round challenge. I mean, nice round amount of five pounds. Okay, how are we doing? Number six, right, so number six, I think we've got one scratch left. Right, so that one is complete. Number seven. Oh, number seven, I owe three pounds. Okay, so that is, let's take that there, put that there, and that's 20. And that is now complete. My days, how many have we completed? And this one's not even been touched, number eight. How's that? Right, number nine. I think number nine is complete. Yes, it is. So we go back to the cat challenge. I don't understand, number eight's not been touched at all and we managed to complete so many challenges. And we will save nine pounds. I'm just gonna put 10 pounds in. And I'm gonna look for one pound card and pull that one out. Yep, and that'll make it sense. So we've got three cards left. There was a five. I think five is complete. Okay. Once this challenge is complete, I just snowball the rest of the challenges, if that makes sense, and you just complete them. So we save three pounds. Number 12, we ignore. Number 10 is one scratch, yay! So that's 13 pounds. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna take that 10 pounds from here, put that there, and how much do we have there? 10, 
and I've got two more pans. Sure, I've got that. Yes, we do. All right, that's our 100 pounds complete. Right, so we managed to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. So we've got two more left. I'm just going to put these in here for now so I don't mix them up. Okay, so now we've got our monthly binder, which is this one. And I think we put 80 pounds aside 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80. Right, and here we roll two dice, well just one die, sorry. So the first challenge, which is the monthly challenge, gets £10. And the reason why obviously the monthly binder gets more money is because this is the priority. Rainy day, five, wow. There's a surprise. might have to snowball some of this because the save 75 pounds which is my, my biggest challenge in my monthly binder I don't know if I'm gonna be able to complete it with with the, with the dice so I might just have to just see where we're up to and just prioritize what goes where my mini binder is not that much of a priority because I can roll that into the following month it's my monthly binder that is and then this challenge five pounds I see we're liking five today, not bad. And we've got 10 pounds left to finish this challenge. This one, we have five pounds left to finish it. So, yep, correct. So this challenge is now complete. We just put it there for now. That saves 30 pounds. And then the collab challenge, 10 pounds. And we've only got four pounds left to complete this challenge. Once this challenge is complete, it saves 24 pounds. Right, so this one is from Grounded Budgets, 10 pounds, which is brilliant because we only need eight pounds to complete this challenge. So if I take the two pounds out and then put the 10 pounds in, this should save 30 pounds, am I right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 times two is 30 pounds. So that is another challenge complete. Right, so as for this one, because it's a bit of a hard one, 10 pounds. Oh, and this is the one of the dodgy zipper. So if I just knock off a eight and a two. All right, save the fruits. Gets five pounds. Hmm. Do you know what? I'm just gonna cheat. I'm just gonna put 10 pounds in. Okay. And the last one, 10 pounds. How much do we need to complete this one? So it's three chat three three six nine. I'm gonna put the twelve pounds in and complete it. And that leaves us with five pounds. So if I take that ten. All right, so this challenge is now complete and it should save us 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30 pounds. 
I might have to change up these coins. Right, so that one is complete. Right, we left with five pounds. Right, let's see where we can put this. We can snowball something. That one needs 10 pounds. Yep, we can finish up this challenge. Right, so this challenge is now complete. 24 pounds. Done. Right, so we have got one, two, three, four, five challenges left to complete. That's not too bad. I'm sure we can hopefully do this by next week because the month is really almost coming to an end. And the last thing we need to do is this mini binder. We should have 60 pounds left. 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Right, so obviously we don't have that much change, but we're just going to have to see what we can do. All right, so in this case we rolled two dice, one, one of this and a 12-sided dice. Right, let's go. Number 10 gets 10 pounds. Oh, fantastic, because it's a brand new challenge, but I don't even have change. Um, let's see if I can make change. Right, so this challenge is from the cute budgets. Well, not the cute budget, but from cute budgets. Number eight gets ten pounds. Number five gets five pounds. Oh, this is different. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an extra pound because this is a two pound challenge. And this is from the budgeting student. So one, two, and six. So the pound that I put in there, just because it doesn't make sense to put five pounds when it's in denominations of two. Number 10 gets five pounds. I can't remember how much this saves, but I think it's about 30 pounds it saves. And I calculated it. All right, 10 pounds goes into number eight. Oh, so this one is complete. Right, number five, five pounds goes into number two, sorry. I'm sure it was a freebie. Yeah, it was a freebie. Five into five. All right, so we're just gonna put four pounds in here to complete it. We take the one pound out and there we go. So that pound can make its way back home. I have got my bonus envelope. Should any one of these numbers come up, it have been roll number five and number eight. So we have got 10 pounds left. Oh, shame, I just said that. Okay, so eight. Is complete so five pounds will go into our bonus challenge and once the challenge is complete it saves 30 pounds and as usual what I do is just snowball it and the last five pounds will go to well I don't know what 10 pounds, but number three will get the last pounds. And in this case, the one pound comes back out again because it's into denominations of two. All right, those are all the different shades of green. <laughs> the 
six pounds left to complete this challenge and it saves 32 pounds once it's complete and that is all the money gone my bonus money gone so we will put that back over there so just to recap we managed to save I mean complete one two three four five six challenges going into the magic box right my battery is on five percent so it's going to turn off quickly so I just wanted to show you my new magic box I got this from the Poundland so I've got my challenges in here already I just transferred them over so hopefully this will be durable enough to hold my binders as well as my challenges and it comes with the lid it was not a pound trust me I don't know if there's anything in a pound for a pound in the pound land nowadays just saying I mean like why this all called a pound land <laughs> Anyway, that is it for me before my battery decides to die and I leave you abruptly. So before it does that, I'll be polite to say goodbye properly. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much once again for choosing to hang with me. I really, really appreciate you all. Have yourself a wonderful weekend. I shall speak to you on, well, I'll see you on Monday. Take care. Bye.